time to musk up. All right, back again. Today, I want to talk about three designer fragrances that I tried at the mall that were uh, all recent releases. I'm just going to give my quick opinions on them. I, they were just initial impressions. I sprayed them each on skin. Some of them I honestly had to scrub off, but we'll get into all of that. The three fragrances that I tried was Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Le Mal Elixir, the new Tom Ford um, Mer M Mystery. I think that's how it's pronounced, not sure and then YSL myself. So let's get right into it. So I tried Lamal Elixir. Now, I was actually surprised. It wasn't that bad because I'm really not a fan of the original Lamal. I find it to be one of the worst fragrance releases ever. It's just so loud, obnoxious, screechy, uh, kind of stomach turning for me. It just never worked for me. Uh, although I, I wouldn't say any of them really smell bad. It's just way, way too overpowering. And the other thing that I find about many of the Lamal fragrances is that they're basically, I don't want to say for kids, they're for like teenagers, in my opinion. They're they're also for like people, kids in college, high school, mid 20s. Like those fragrances are great if you're in that age range. And I do want to say is Elixir, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir, Lamal Elixir was it it gave me a resemblance of Sauvage Elixir. I got that Sauvage Elixir smell mixing in with Lamal with some added vanilla and woods. I I don't know, maybe it because it was the name that threw me off, right? But I, out of all the Sauvages, I do enjoy Elixir the most because of all the spiciness. Uh, and then Parfum next, as you can see, I don't have a bottle. I only have minis of them, which is enough for me. But uh, it wasn't bad, just not for me personally, but I could understand why people like it, um, especially if you're in high school or you're in college. The next fragrance that I tried was the new Tom Ford. And one thing I'll say is if you're looking for a myrrh fragrance, that's not the one. Personally, Les Indumidable Oriental Velours, this is myrrh. This is absolutely gorgeous. Nice, dry, incense resinous fragrance mixing in with some spruce to give off this kind of coniferous effect but this makes it really feel like you're holding the resins in your hands the tom ford to me just smelled like smoked woods that's all i got amber woods smoked woods and i got some myrrh in there like i, I can kind of get myrrh from it but it was very slightly, I don't know, it almost smelled kind of burnt. And that was the fragrance that I ended up scrubbing off after three hours. I gave it, that's all I gave it at that point. In that three hours, I didn't get any transitions. The fragrance didn't change in any way. For the price that you're paying, I would never pay that price. If you told me I can buy that fragrance for $20, but I wasn't allowed to sell it after I bought it, I wouldn't even pay $20 for it, in all honesty. I know that's kind of harsh, but it's just, it's horrible. It's not good. I don't know what's going on with Tom Ford, but it's not it. And then the last fragrance that I want to speak on, I don't want to say it was bad as in like it smelled bad, although that, that smell usually isn't for me. It's a blue fragrance, Amber Woods, some Ambroxan, you know, that lavender body wash smell that I got from it. But again, there was no transitions. Uh, the, the, as soon as I sprayed it on for like the four or five hours it was on skin, that was all I got. It never changed at all. They're trying to get into that blue market. And basically to me, what it smelled like, it smelled like the new Armani Code. Not this one in particular, this version, but the new one that comes in the new bottle, the refillable bottle with the magnetic cap. It's trying to do that. It's also trying to do the Sauvage thing. And then in my opinion, one of the best blue fragrances and you only really need one blue fragrance because they're all so similar. And the best one is Blue de Chanel. And like, this is the one that I enjoy to wear. And this is superior. The Chanel is superior to myself. So I just don't see why somebody would get it other than maybe because of price. But again, another fragrance that I would say is good if you're in high school or you're in college. But then again, again, there is other better options for that. Another issue that I have with these designer mid-range kind of mainstream designer fragrances is when they give you the notes, 
I don't smell those notes in the fragrances. Like myself has a note of bergamot, orange blossom, and patchouli. I don't get any of those things. Uh, sorry, but that's not how bergamot, orange blossom, and patchouli smells. The notes on Fragrantica or on the YSL website should say lavender, body wash accord, and amber woods. That's it. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like I have many orange blossom fragrances that I love and I just didn't get any orange blossom. I have patchouli fragrances I love. I didn't get any patchouli. Even the bergamot they can't even get right. I don't know. It's just weird. Didn't like it. In my opinion, it was, it's a complete total flop and a miss. Even like Dylan Blue. I would even prefer to wear Dylan Blue over myself. And you can get that for basically half the price that, the co that it cost to buy myself. And so that's just my quick initial impressions. And, and of course, remember this is just an initial first impressions. Maybe things would change later on down the road, although I personally don't think so. Maybe the Lamal Elixir, I would warm up to it a little bit more if I sprayed it like half a spray or even a quarter of a spray if I can get it on. But yeah, the, these newer releases are just really, really bad. Although I don't mind nowadays with with the way everything's looking with the prices inflation and stuff i'm kind of happy that so many fragrances suck because it just makes it easy for me to not buy them and so yeah let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances and what you think all right thank you take care bye